Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Everything One Earth. I'm Andy Batiz and today we're talking assignment settings and I'm going to show you a couple of quick tips to help you save some time every time you create an assignment. Alright guys, let's get straight into it. So we're talking Teams assignments and I'm going to show you a couple of assignment settings to help you save a lot of time every time you create an assignment. But don't forget, if you like the videos Nathan and I put out, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell button so you're going to get notified every time we bring out new content. So I'm here at Microsoft Teams and I've clicked on the assignments and you can see some of my previous assignments are already here. But I'm going to head up to the little cogwheel over here on the right. So anytime you see the cogwheel or the three little dots or the ellipses with Microsoft, you're generally going to find something of interest and something cool. So here's where we can bring up our assignment settings. You may not have known this is here. So this is going to save you some time every time you create an assignment. Some of these features are going to already set their defaulted for you. So the first one is the assignment timeline and when you want your assignments to be due. At the school that I'm at, we have an 8.30 deadline for our official assignments. You can change it every time you create an assignment, but that is going to be already preset there with that 8.30 time slot. You can choose what your default for your calendar is going to be, whether you want none, students only, students and me, and students and team only. That's going to mean that when you create that assignment, it's going to push out to the student's Outlook calendar, so they're going to get notified and reminded when that assignment is coming up. The next one is with the notifications and where you want to actually post that assignment. So you can choose a specific channel for your assignments to post. So it might be an assignments channel or it maybe is a specific topic depending how you have your channel set up. I like to keep an assignments channel set up so I can keep my general channel free for just specific messages out to the students. So I'm going to set assignments as my default and again you can change it every time you create a new assignment. Do I want any new students to receive an assignment when they come into my class late? So this means if they come into the class tomorrow, are they going to get the assignments that have been scheduled or pushed out in the last week or two? The default is going to be no. If you want the students to get access to the assignments, just change that to yes. But generally it's going to be a no. And the last one, I wouldn't be touching this one, turn in on the celebrations for the team. So that's when the students hit the hand in button. They generally get something exciting happen like a rainbow unicorn or some little animation. Always want to keep that on, give them something exciting, something to feel good about when they hit that hand in button. But if you're really against it, you can turn that off there as well. So there you go, a couple of quick tips to help you with your assignments. When you go in and create a new assignment, all of those settings that you set up are going to be already preset. So you can see we've already got that 8.30 deadline, the calendar is already set up for student me, and the assignments is already going to be posted to that assignments channel.